beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your full moon reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I do not take money, e-gifts or donations. So so anyone masquerading as me, please report them or ignore them. Uh, it is a scam. Let us cleanse your space hourly. I'm using Tibetan symbols, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. And let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, so this full moon is in Pisces. So you may have been feeling a little bit more emotional than usual. Uh, may have been trying to hold back the tears. Oh, we got a little bit of, uh, I don't know if you caught it on camera, a little bit of recognition, spirits joining, the lights uh, just uh, flickered above me. Um, so um, anyway, let us move on. Um, the full moon um, will uh, sort of deal with uh, things that are um, really needed to be looked at uh, in terms of being honest with yourself, uh, being, whoa, Got quite a lot of energy joining uh, at the moment. Uh, really looking at yourself um, and, you know, if there's part of your plan that needs changing, uh, then you will be adjusting the plan. But it is a time to go beyond your limits when it's, uh, you know, uh, dream big, dream boldly, and submerge yourself in your imagination to manifest what you uh, truly want to bring to life there. Now, sorry, I seem a little bit distracted, uh, but there is a bit of a surge of energy here at the moment with your reading, which I mean is really positive energy. Um, but uh, it was, I need to just, uh, I'm scrying at the same time, so I am seeing the reflection of the surge in uh, the water, so one moment please. Um, oh, wow, it's getting really quite intense. Anyway, um, if you could step away briefly please, because I'm trying to read, thank you so much, I'm truly grateful. Uh, I just need them to be aware that, um, thank you. Okay, so let us move on. Um, so, Taurus, your 11th house of finding balance, uh, looking after your own needs, and also helping others is highlighted during this time. Generosity is key uh, for this particular full moon because when you help others, you gain extra karmic points. So um, I feel like you will be gaining uh, some extra sort of uh, good luck coming your way um, just after this full moon. Um, also, this uh, full moon is uh, highlighting your networking ability or to meet people or situations that are meant for you uh, in order to succeed or in order to grow your social network, for example. Uh, so even if it's online, if you're not getting out at the moment because uh, there's obviously a major pandemic going on, uh, you know, uh, there's definitely potential here for you to expand uh, in terms of your friendship zones um, and to uh, get some really good luck just after that full moon in Pisces. Uh, now, now, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Um, it is about looking at your goals and dreams and what it is you're trying to manifest. I'm just going to get an overall energy before we move forward. Thank you so much. We've got balance, harmony with that temperance card. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the Empress card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Tureans? What do they need to know? We have uh, the Hermit and we have the World card. Okay, so something's coming to a bit of a conclusion here. Uh, the first card you have is wisdom, inner knowing, poised. Now, as soon as uh, I picked up this card, they gave me like a gazelle, okay? The image of a gazelle. So I feel like you're about to take a big leap forward in some sort of area. Uh, they're almost saying like, be ready, be poised, be, be, be ready for, and alert because there's opportunity coming. Uh, but also, of course, uh, this is like high priestess energy with that wisdom. If you can see that high priestess right there in the center, a lot of psychic downloads during this full moon for you. Uh, there's going to be, um, yeah, life path. They're giving me life path uh, sort of downloads as, uh, you know, which direction to go in. Because when you reduce it, 3 plus 8 is 11. So I feel like soul path, uh, your life's purpose is going to be really on your mind. And you're going to have a lot of hunches uh, in the next couple of weeks there, Taurus. Please pay close attention to them. It keeps you balanced. It keeps you, uh, you know, uh, ready, I guess. And that temperance card indicates something that you've been waiting for, I feel, will sort of um, come to fruition. You just know. And whatever it is that you've got a hunch on and you just know, pay close attention to that because you're right, okay? Um, your instincts are key. Um, now, okay. 
Okay, now I'm not sure who this message is for, but they're indicating more light is necessary. Uh, so if you've been like working away alone at home for a while and you've not been finding any time for yourself to get out into nature um, or you know get, catch a bit of sun rays or something like that or if you if you're living in a, a cloudy uh, place I mean there's still rays coming through there uh, they're indicating more light is necessary so please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone of course uh, but more night more light okay so um, anyway let us move forward we've got independent You've worked hard to create the success and security that you have around you. Indulge in your surroundings for you have self-discipline and maturity to do so. So remember to have fun. Remember to enjoy what you've worked really hard for. If you've been on that sort of, um, you know, hamster wheel of life and you've been thinking, well, what am I doing all this for? It feels good that I'm squirrel th squirreling things away for the future and, you know, trying to build some sort of stability there. But there's got to be pockets of fun. There's got to be pockets of you enjoying, uh, you know, the fruits of your labor. Um, so uh, plentitude, luxury, privilege. So I do feel like there is something that you've been working really hard on that, uh, you know, is going to uh, bring a lot of uh, financial uh, gain there. It's going to be an opportunity for you to have enough and then some to sort of um, indulge a little bit um, now it's interesting because it's number uh, 45 there which when you reduce it 4 plus 5 is 9 of course so that's a hermit card uh, energy which is about you know whatever it is that you've been working really hard on perhaps on your own you've, you've cut yourself off recently to really focus on something uh, whether it's you have to make a decision or whether it's you know something you must do which is focus on your work and just cut everybody off have no distraction for a while they're indicating that your independence or whatever it is uh, that you've been strongly using your emotions uh, towards working and not just your emotions your energy towards working uh, for something I feel like it's going to um, draw very large dividends uh, I feel like it's going to be um, very financially lucrative for you um, and it's going to be a time of plenty there's some good luck coming your way Taurus so if you've had a bit of a bad run of luck recently uh, there's going to be uh, a little bit more um, sort of balanced energy if it's been chaotic there's going to be a little bit more um, harmony coming into your world and we've got number 20 yes confirmation so this is your unified energy so it looks like a very positive embracing energy of yes it says the answer is yes okay so simple as that uh, it's on a yellow background which makes me think of the sun so I feel it's very very positive uh, this energy I will pull a card on it and see what's going on there uh, now I'm just using um, just to clarify I'm using the um, Archean Tarot by Timothy Lands. I'm only reading the upright in this deck. No, 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 no. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. They just reminded me I changed that. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Uh, this is actually the traditional Rider Waite Tarot um, and it is uh, vintage. What the hell? Okay, there's some interesting energy coming out in your reading, Taurus. I mean, I, I, I just br must have brushed past it. I, I brushed past it slightly, but I didn't expect that that force, okay? So these cards are obviously for you. Uh, I'm going to give them to you because that's what's come out. Um, you know, so we got two of swords here, uh, an undecided energy, uh, something that you may have felt like... Um, was um how can i put that uh you know stuck not moving forward uh you trying to gain clarity on something here so you know the answer is yes so uh, also we've got that wonderful six of pentacles here um which indicates you know um balance harmony but generosity which is what this full moon is especially about for you um so uh, six of pentacles often means the universe is going to come along and give you some good fortune uh, out of nowhere there is a financial reward uh, that you are not expecting or someone is going to come towards you with some generous uh, information something that is necessary towards you or someone just you know reaches out and sort of helps you because you are giving back so the more you give the more you get back uh, you're not giving to get back but I feel like it's overdue karma coming towards you so especially since we've got followed by the wheel of fortune so a lot of success here you know uh, big opportunities popping out of nowhere um, you know I feel like you're you're coming out of your comfort zone this is a, a major lucky break and a turnaround of events okay sometimes we're up sometimes we're down and the wheel of fortune actually talks about that wheel of life and I feel like you're on the up okay so if you've been feeling a little bit like uh, what's going on um, things are being a little bit uh, unbalanced for you everything's going to come back into some sort of manageable uh, energy and we got an ace of wands here 
Now, the Ace of Wands indicates a new passion or, uh, you know, perhaps a new project, an opportunity to do something that you love that sets your soul on fire. Now, if you're looking for love, this could be an, someone uh, who really sparks your attention um, and brings new passion into your world. Uh, someone that has a deep connection with you, magnetic connection, and that there's strong potential for uh, a transformative uh, love in the future. Uh, this could also be a fling if you're wanting to have a fling. It could be someone new coming on in who, who actually just you know, sparks your fancy. Um, in terms of work, this can be, uh, you know, a creative project that's coming on in. I feel strong creative energy here. Uh, it's almost like lightning, okay? So any ideas that are creative that come on in, pay close attention to them because uh, very positive. If you're waiting to hear about job news, for example, uh, or something uh, that you've been, you know, praying for a miracle on or hoping, uh, for some action on this is action this is uh, you know inspiration and it's, it's covering the answer yes so um, it just is basically saying yeah this is happening whatever this is uh, luck is on your side fortune favors the the brave and the bold if you're undecided the universe is going to come and show you that everything's going to work out in your favor uh, we do have a knight of cups here so they are indicating here just be mindful of your expectations it's always good to dream big dream boldly and dream higher than ever before because if you shoot for the stars you know you might just catch the moon or you know you, you can get you can catch the stars so Taurus you're capable of that your hard work will always see you through the knight of cups so it does ask you to just be mindful of um how can i put this okay so what the what they're giving me is if you love something for example like you love your job right uh and you just you're just happy to have one and you're just really excited to be there and you know you're uh you know perhaps you're not being paid the amount of money that uh you should be paid for your your work situation but you don't care because you love what you do okay but then there's someone who comes along and expects you to do more and more and more they take advantage Okay, so what they're saying is when you've got a lot of love for something that, or someone, for example, if, if the balance is not there, if the harmony is not there, sometimes uh, the power balance tips and people expect things from you that you are either not capable or not wanting to give. Uh, but because you love what you do, you sometimes give more more and more and more until you're depleted okay so the knight of cups does just warn you that everything should be in balance and harmony don't overextend yourself or don't uh, sort of try and live up to anyone else's uh, unrealistic expectations just because you love what you do okay don't let people take advantage of you is what i'm getting with this card um so uh, i mean if you're looking for love i feel like uh, the knight of cups in the reverse I, I feel like it's it's kind of like there is a fling in your energy at the minute, uh, you know, the, the, the Knight of Cups kind of suggests that, um, you know, uh, right now it's looking like a fling rather than, uh, you know, something that's going a little bit further than that. Uh, just so you're aware, okay, uh, potential for a spark of passion. Doesn't mean it won't. It's just saying with this full moon in Pisces, someone may be reaching out because they find you very attractive, Taurus, and they're not thinking for the long term, okay? Now, this could also be someone from your past who withdrew, um, their cup of love or who, um, you know, uh, really expected the world from you and didn't deliver anything to get it. You know, they didn't put the legwork in the relationship with you. So this could also be uh, someone like that sort of uh, coming back towards you, uh, wanting a little bit of, you know, um, jiggy jiggy as it were. Anyway, uh, we'll move on from that. But the uh, it's number 20. The only reason I say that it's number 20 and number 20 is the judgment card, which is a card of second chances. But it's also a card of clarity, making a final decision and having a wake up call. So it's all about your life's purpose, who should be on your path and the reciprocal energy, what you put in you look at what you get out, okay? That's what this, uh, you know, this uh, full moon is also about. It's looking about reciprocity, okay? Now, as we move forward, we've got the temperance card. So again, everything they're talking about is pretty much your 11th house, finding that balance, looking after your own needs, but also helping others and making sure it's healthy. Um, also, you may be re-examining your priorities at this time and shaking up your, your life. Uh, you know, maybe just thinking about things right now before you fully take action, because I feel like you're closing something down first before you uh, do that. Uh, the Temperance card indicates you're turning something that's kind of okay into something more positive. So uh, I do feel like uh, in order to, uh, if you look at those two um, rainbows, uh, the ingredients of rainbows are uh, rain and uh, sun. So they're indicating, you know, sometimes there is disappointment and then the rain disappears and then there's sun and then there's a happier, more exciting outcome than you imagined uh, from before. Now, um, 
they're just showing me <laughs> they're just showing me someone uh, returning a parcel um, it's very much a return because I get a feeling of this is not what I thought it was that's the energy that I'm getting from this image uh, this is not what I thought it was and it's giving back so I feel like someone is uh, either you're listening to this reading and you're sort of uh, filling in documents or doing something to send something back and go, oh, this is not what I thought it would be. Um, or you've just done that before you, uh, you know, you ran that errand just before you listened to this reading or there is something that you've got to give back and there is a time limit on it because they're now showing me a timer, uh, an egg timer. Uh, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to... Um, resonate for everyone of course so I'll just leave that there it doesn't mean it's not your reading it just means they want that person to pay closer attention uh, the Empress card now this is uh, an energy to remind you that you deserve a lot Taurus this is your card uh, you share it with Libra energy there um, this, this Empress card this is about abundance coming towards you and something that you worked really hard for and nurtured and cared for for a long period of time that you've waited patiently to come to fruition is starting to show up okay uh, the Empress she knows her worth uh, and she magnetizes um, what is right for her towards her. She doesn't overextend herself. She knows that she's done the work by planting the seeds and taking the necessary steps to nurture it. But anything more than that, that's just overkill. Okay, so I feel like you're putting your own needs first um, and you're nurturing yourself. Um, you know, there, I feel like there's nourishment really I feel like you are uh, trying to um, implement some sort of a healthier diet or. Um, so some sort of exercise regime. I feel like after a period of not really uh, focusing on yourself or maybe even neglecting yourself for a little period of time, uh, you felt a little bit disconnected. I feel like you're trying to get back to your center with this card. Um, now we've got the uh, Hermit card um, and we've got the World card. So the Hermit is you're really thinking something over. Uh, I feel like you're trying to navigate uh you know a tumultuous time i mean that's an obvious thing to say because we're all going through a major pandemic and trying to uh keep our head above water and um the hermit card does though ask um even in the toughest of circumstances even in the harshest environment you're still surviving uh, but they're asking you the question what still sets your soul on fire who still sets your soul on fire what still interests you okay the hermit as you can see that bear represents endurance and it's looking at this lantern which has got like a uh, passionate fire embers burning there in the star. Can I heal something with somebody? Can I heal things within myself? Um, you're gaining enlightenment, but in a reflective state about things that you need to weigh up before you close off cycles. I really feel like you're, you're really weighing up what you, you know, any loose ends that you need to tie up before you move forward during this uh, full moon. So whether it's you're wanting to get a new job um, or you're wanting to get a raise, for example, uh, you know, maybe tying up all those projects that need tying up before you approach a boss and say, hey, I'm going to work really hard. Uh, is there any chance? I know it's a difficult circumstances at the moment, uh, you know, but any chance that I could get a raise or, you know, I mean, I know a lot of people are saying, Baba, that's not going to happen in the circumstances, but I've heard of a lot of people whose companies have found a little bit of something something not much but a little bit of something something in order to give worker morale because there's a lot of um difficult stuff going on out there okay and of course there's going to be some companies that are absolutely not that at all and are uh self-serving and you know anyway some all I gotta say is some of us are lucky to have jobs and if you're looking for one I feel like you may be uh, getting yourself ready to receive uh, tying up sort of as I said uh, loose ends by really asking yourself what do I want to do looking at how far you've come so far on your journey and saying do I still want to do this and if I do then okay let's find my love for it again let's get, find motivation and drive to get back out there and follow my unique star because I do feel like stars are aligning for you to get a lot of success okay the world card basically not only is it a closure card or a completion card it is a card of success of abundance okay coming full circle on something and ending on a high so I do feel like something you've been doing alone that you've been steadily working towards is going to be very very successful if it's looking for a job um, or if it's uh, you know trying to uh, sort of um, move into a new sector or whether it's uh, perhaps you're closing down a cycle of a relationship where you're like putting your own needs first and realizing that even though you've been with somebody you felt very alone or trying to uh, do too much so you're trying to regain that balance uh, so let us move forward and see what the details are um thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide my beautiful taurus uh now they are showing me a necklace 
um, right now with a heart on it. I mean, that could be a lot of people who's got that, of course, I understand. Uh, but they've shown me it's very intricate heart. I mean, it's something like this. Oh gosh, there was something like this in here. Um, you know, when I go looking for it, I can't find it, of course. Uh, could you show me the heart, please? Oh my gosh, it's like, okay, if I, mm, it's not really like that. There's something like, there's another one. I don't want to waste your time, so please fast forward this bit. Um, oh my gosh, I cannot find it. Okay, so I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to have to leave that there. If I cannot find it, I'm not going to spend your whole reading looking for it. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's similar to this, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, it's a very unique heart looking. Uh, so if someone gave you a gift like that, or that is an important uh, piece of jewelry to you, um, or it's someone that you really care about who wears something like that, uh, they're really highlighting it because they want you to connect to the reading and listen closely. Okay, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Now your first card is the sun. Oh, that's pretty positive. Okay, uh, just to let you know, I'm using the Tower of the Mystical Moments by Catrin Well Stein. The other decks I've been using are the Atlas Oracle by Catrin um, Rose Spencer, and also um, the um, Ex Animo Tarot by Bon Ogur. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do we got going on here? Oh, wow. I mean, this is two aces and a sun. What's going on, Taurus? This is pretty positive. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, so sun card uh, means an awakening, basically, but it's also a lot of auspicious energy, a lot of positivity. You're trying to remain positive and stay balanced and, uh, you know, looking towards the future uh, is very difficult right now in the world that we live in and being able to make any plans. So I feel like you're trying to remain positive, though, and tr trying to sort of see things clearly. Uh, there, we got a little bit more. The energy is joining again. You can feel the light coming. Uh, you can feel the energy um, sort of embracing your reading again. Uh, but this is a major awakening. A lot of positivity here with that sun card. Um, it's quite a powerful energy, actually. I feel like there is something to celebrate in your near future. Um, and it is something that uh, you've been, it's almost like I feel you, wow, they're giving me an image from a film now. Um, and that image, I mean, I think I've seen this image, either I've seen it in before in a reading, or I have seen it, uh, you know, on, a, I mean, I've seen the movie many, many years ago, uh, but it seems so familiar, like I've only seen it, it's almost like I'm having deja vu, okay, uh, which I rarely get, uh, but anyway, um, what they're giving me, uh, it's from a scene, um, I feel it's from something like Braveheart, and it's like, is it Braveheart? It's, and he's going, uh, the the main protagonist actor is uh, going hold, 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 and all these soldiers are waiting, waiting, waiting. They're ready to fight, but this army is coming towards them, and the protagonist is going hold, hold, and then um, all of a sudden it's like now, and it's like boom, and they're off. So I feel like something you've been fighting for or waiting to come to fruition. Uh, you know, it's almost like you're waiting for the right moment to strike. And I don't feel like you're going into battle, but I feel like you are, uh, you know, it's an army of strength behind you. You have a lot of uh, positive people supporting you, is what I feel, who are ready to uh, go in there with you. Okay, I'm going to have to look up that scene, you know, because the way that I'm seeing it, uh, I wish I could tell you who the actor was, because uh, the way I'm seeing it is someone having like, um, I'll just let that go past. Um, I'm seeing his arm, okay? And the way that he's holding, it's like, I feel like he's holding a, a sword because I can only see a piece of metal here. So I'm guessing it's a sword and it's like that. But I can hear his voice saying, hold, hold, waiting. And then I just see like an army. So anyway, I'm going to have to look it up. But I, either it's Braveheart or it's something like um, one of those big movies like 300 or, uh, you know, Gladiator or something like that. But I feel... Yeah, anyway, let's move on. Um, so we got a major breakthrough here. Aces, uh, you know, bring, uh, ace, bases, uh, uh, basically aces are uh, guided from the universe, uh, but this one is a particular breakthrough in terms of destiny and fate. This is about seeing lots of meaningful coincidences, lots of numbers or lots of signs for you. Uh, they're showing me a set of dice right now. Uh, so maybe you're taking a calculated risk 
or you're um, surrendering to the universe, surrendering to fate, and something just goes in your favor. This is a major breakthrough um, card. This uh, basically means clarity, seeing things clearly. You're unlocking something that you've been wrestling with in the mind for a while. As you can see, that uh, shell there, it's going round and round and round. It's almost like swirling, okay? And the key, this figure, beautiful figure there, has got the key and unlocks the mind. It's like, oh, you're having an aha moment, an epiphany moment on something here. Uh, whether it's because you know you deserve better and you're deciding to go for better, whether it's in a relationship or friendships or in uh, work situations, I really feel like something that you do alone, there's going to be a time of plenty and a lot of um, you know reward that comes from it. Uh, pay close attention. I mean, to get a sun card and two aces is pretty unusual. Um, and we've got ace of cups here as well. So this can be a time of love coming through. Uh, all of a sudden there's love. All of a sudden there's, uh, you know, a, a breakthrough. Um, all of a sudden there's news that comes on in. They're showing me an envelope right now. Um, so uh, I feel like uh, either you hear uh, a message from someone that loves you dearly, whether that is a person from your past, I'm going to pull a card on it, um, or whether it is someone um, that you're meeting who's new. Aces tend to bring new, okay? Um, I feel like it's a transformative love. Uh, if you're already in a relationship, I feel like you're deepening your connection, perhaps uh, getting married or settling in with each other, or, uh, you know, your person uh, pops a question, uh, or even perhaps a new baby, uh, or a baby, not even a new one, uh, a baby on the way, because we've got the Empress card there as well. There is like a huge epiphany moment happening here, so let's just clarify uh, this card for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Taurus, what do they need to know about this Ace of Cups? Can you please guide them? The Tower in Reverse. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Oof. Okay. There's someone here you're not talking to. Someone who shocked you. Someone that's been lagging their feet. Uh, someone who uh, may have walked away from the union. Um, been unkind there. Maybe someone you distrust. I mean... High Priestess, you feel like this person's got a secret. This person's coming to tell you that secret, I think, with that Ace of Swords. Uh, we got the High Priestess in the reverse. So they really want you to be mindful that your hunches or anything that you mistrust, pay close attention. Um, the Chariot in the reverse indicates something stagnant. You lost hope on something, lost direction on something there. Almost, I feel like you're giving up on this. Uh, Ace of Swords in the reverse. I mean, to clarify, I'm ace, cl clarifying that Ace of Cups and it's clarifying it with an Ace of Swords. So... They're indicating here that uh, someone that maybe you felt like you had poor judgment in a situation or someone was dishonest with you or did not tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I mean, someone who literally, um, you know, kept all the communication to themselves because swords are about communication and sort of cut and run there, but they left... Uh, they left two swords. They want to keep a foothold in your life in some way, Taurus. This person tends to dip in and out. Um, I mean, they're always looking back. They're always coming back. I mean, it's number 20 there, which indicates, you know, uh, second chances. Um, and the tower in the reverse indicates you had a lucky escape from this energy, okay? So, I mean, if you're wanting, I mean, they're indicating someone like this is showing back up in your energy. So if they're reaching out to you and they uh, behave like this to you, Taurus, you know that you deserve better than that and that there is new love coming on in for you. I'm just going to clarify with a separate deck uh, to see uh, what else you need to see with that Ace of Cups. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Now, this could be, uh, you know, in terms of career, this can be to do with something that you love doing. Yeah, you deserve better than that. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles showing up. Thank you so much. King of Wands in reverse. This person's not ready uh, if it was a, a relationship. In terms of career... Page of Wands in reverse. We've got Page of Cups in reverse. No, no, and no. Yeah, it's basically an energy here of you um, loving yourself fully. Page of Cups in the reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. Uh, what the? We got some serious energy in your reading right now. I hope you're catching all of this. 
sadly you can't see behind me, but uh, you know, all of this is on, uh, I hope you can hear it. Uh, anyway, we've got Page of Cups, Page of Wands, and King of Wands. So someone who sometimes, and please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, uh, they reach out to you on their own time. They don't make you a priority. When they're ever at a loose end, they may re reach out to you and send you a message. This person's very, very immature, okay? Uh, very, yeah, very childish. And the Queen of Pentacles says you deserve better. Uh, and also you're focusing on your finances at this time, uh, you're building security here. Um, so I feel like you're closing off that cycle and making yourself ready for new love. Okay, um, this energy reading is for the moon, uh, re full moon there. So Queen of Pentacles can also be uh, you being determined to succeed and show this person who lost out on you um, what they actually lost. Uh, I feel like this person sees you as someone that they could be with in the future, but they, I don't know what, they've got their own stuff going on. That uh, They see you as a, a, a nurturer, someone who also may have money uh, as well. So uh, just be mindful of that. They're pretty much, with the tower in reverse, they're kind of telling you there's a blockage here, avoid this, uh, or you've been avoiding this, uh, shutting down this cycle with this person. Okay, so... Um, let us go uh, and clarify any more energy that needs to be clarified in this reading before we move forward. Uh, I was going to say in terms of career, um, if there was uh, something that you were working at and all of a sudden there was a shocking kind of like um, turnaround on it, for example, someone losing their job all of a sudden um, or having to make certain decisions because uh, circumstances are changing, uh, they're indicating that uh, there will be a turnaround okay there will be a turnaround of events uh, you are secure is what they're giving me thank you so much spirit guys great angels king of swords in reverse yeah there's some sort of there's some sort of information here that is not being readily shown so that you really need to check in with your intuition but there will be justice okay so there will be justice there will be a solution found they are telling me that there's a temporary sort of conflict or worry that is happening here out of nowhere there's going to be a bit of a turnaround okay so I don't know how you want to apply that to your situation but they're indicating uh, that there will be a turnaround on it okay uh, five of wands says conflict but it also says training okay being a warrior getting ready for um, you know you've been fighting for something and you're getting ready for success the next card up is the six of wands so I feel like you've been that person who's in training waiting for success but you've been still battling away and I feel like your, your reward is coming with that breakthrough here. Uh, and, you know, it's almost like follow your heart, listen to your intuition. It will never lead you astray. If, if this is for uh, work, for example, I feel like you're going to be able to do uh, something that you love doing that will bring a major breakthrough and you'll be happier than you were ever before. The conflict, okay? The moon card does say out of the blue, there is change. Out of the blue, something comes to the surface that you were not expecting. And uh, in the upright position, it indicates a positive energy. Uh, but it does say the moon card often says caution is advised. So, you know, your intuition needs to be uh, in play here with this. But there is a major breakthrough there. Uh, you know, great opportunity lie in the shadow. Things are happening behind the scenes for you. Uh, we've also got that king of swords. So they are definitely indicating that there's something here that... Um, is being withheld, some sort of uh, injustice or a, a truth that has not uh, come to light right now. Um, you know, it feels like something has not been open for negotiation for a while, um, or you feel like you could not speak up on something, Taurus, but that's all about to change, okay? So after that full moon period, there will be a, a radical change around there, a major breakthrough. Uh, I mean, you may have been dealing with like someone who's very corrupt or someone that you cannot trust, someone who's abusive, someone who is uh, underhanded. Um, yeah, and we got the justice card. So phew, uh, justice card says there is a solution. There will be balance, there will be harmony. This definitely speaks to your 11th house of balance. Um, and justice card indicates, um, you know, there may be some sort of... Um, legal outcome um, you know that is positive if you're going through law, law courts or anything like that it's a reminder though that your future actions can be changed by the lessons that you learn or uh, the things that you decide in this present moment so they are indicating like that you know that good karma you're getting karmic uh, points as it were by 
being generous to other people and then there's good karma coming towards you back uh, the justice card tends to be a karma card okay so I feel like you will find a solution and anything as you see I love this deck it is the way of the panda to row by Kimberly and Sam look at that that uh, justice that karma that little panda is kicking that other panda right in the face okay serious karma uh, right back at that panda who clearly has done something uh, untoward and I feel like you're gonna gain justice for this situation whatever it is but it's very positive I mean there's some uh, sort of uh, things that you need to negotiate or navigate along the way but uh, I, I feel like it's something you have to do alone and it's something that you will succeed at okay so let us uh, go forward and get a final card for you this is the spirit of the animals Oracle by Jody Bergsman thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Taurus okay so we have okay um, okay so they're giving me a song, and I feel like they've given me this song before, but they kept, throughout the reading, they've kept saying Nancy, 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 okay? I uh, couldn't quite get it at first, so I didn't mention it, but now it's more clear, Nancy, and now they're playing me a song, and the song is These Boots Were Made For Walking. I know this, this song has come up before in a reading. I know it has, okay? Uh, whether it was for your uh, sign or not, I'm not really sure, uh, but it, they're trying to give me an energy of something that you're walking away from. Um, and the, the, the lyrics they're giving me is, um, it's, they're, it's very disjointed. The way that they're giving it to me is, um, these boots were made for walking and that's just what they'll do. These boots are going to walk and that's, they stop there and then they cut to another part of the song and it says, uh, when you should have been a truthin' or something. I mean, I don't know. You... You've been, I think it says you've been lying when you should have been a truthin' or something like that. So I don't know what that is about. Uh, I mean, it may, because we got that King of Swords in the reverse there, it may apply to your situation. Uh, but I'll move on. I mean, maybe you hear the song on the radio just before this reading or just afterwards. Uh, please take it as resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Uh, be community. Okay, so as I said, this is a time for networking or people coming towards you to help uh, you uh, with something that there's going to be a sweet reward um, with on the outcome. It says, you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving the sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Okay, now the Empress card is the queen of abundance. The queen of pentacles is the queen of abundance. Okay. So you've got both those cards that do indicate that uh, energy. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It is about the energy, so please apply it to your situation. But something you've been working really hard on is going to uh, bring sweet reward here. Uh, yes, there's certain dynamics that are difficult to negotiate, uh, but I feel like overall, positively, things are going to work in your favor, okay? Now, let us get a trinket. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Thank you so much. Oh, we got a key, and we got the world. Oh, so this is a key that connects to the world card. So, uh, I mean, a huge key there, about to unlock something really positive. Uh, the world card, as, as I said, uh, really indicates, uh, you know, positivity, uh, auspicious energy, success, abundance, uh, but also a completion of a cycle, okay? Um, yeah, and they want it on the world card. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I'm really a bit miffed as to why I could not find that heart for you. There it is, because they just kind of nudged me to... And there it is. Uh, so that heart I was talking about it looks like that. Okay, so if that uh, resonates with you in some way regarding that necklace, uh, then um, there's something in this message for you. Okay, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. I'm going to run a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. All you have to do is uh, champion yourself in September, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whether it is good health you're trying to achieve, whether it is pay the bills on time uh, that you're trying to achieve, know that you can do this. You will succeed. If you want to set up your own business or set up a YouTube channel, you will succeed. All you have to do is write the words, I will succeed in the comments box below and champion yourself. Taurus, know that you can do this. Reach out to people if you need help at all or guidance um, and things like that, but you can do this. So, um, and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 29th of September, and I'll announce the winner in a video. Okay, thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. Love and light.